So I asked about the gophers because I'm extremely curious at this point. Um, I asked the songbirds, what do the gophers sound like? Because we have all these gophers here in California. They're smaller than prairie dogs. And they're very nervous animals. Very shy and nervous and scarity, you know. And uh, apparently the male and female gophers sound different. And I'll try, I'll try and explain it. They say the same words, but uh, the emotional emphasis is different. And I'm hearing from the songbirds the, the sound of their speech, like whistling. And at the same time, the telepathic overlay that explains to me what the whistling means, you know. They're speaking English, actually. But uh, they're speaking English as whistles and not in our types of words, but they're speaking those words. It's hard to explain. I hope, hope you all have the opportunity to feel this and accomplish this later on. I, it's, it's really quite a joy. So to get back to the gophers, uh, the, they both say, dear me. But the, the emotional emphasis is quite different. And it seems that it's contrary to gender differences amongst humans in that the boy gophers speak in a higher, more joyful voice than the, the girl gophers who seem to be weighed down with care. Okay, so according to the songbirds, the female gophers say, dear me. It reminds me of what I've been hearing since I got here uh, 10 years ago. And then, according to the songbirds, the male gophers say, Dear me! Dear me! Like joyfully, much happier. So, Dear me! Dear me! Yeah, not so much emphasis, lighter than what I said before. Dear me! Dear me, dear me. <laughs> you can hear the uh, my buddy, the graven over on the left. It's vocalizing all different kinds of sounds, and it knows that I don't really, I can't vocalize right, and and I don't really understand too well, and yet it's still trying to teach me this stuff. If I um, if I try to say discrete words, if I try to say a word that it's, that it's saying to me, it will repeat and repeat and repeat and help me try to learn it, but just my mouth doesn't work that way right now, you know. I'd like it to, but it doesn't right now. Let's get back to the songbirds talking about what the other animals uh, sound like. If this is water I hear. It sounds like running water to me. Can you hear it? Raven talk. I asked this one to to visualize what it means and it showed running water. So maybe I can learn that way. And I thought maybe if I could put these words onto like a machine that with push buttons that show what each word means then I could communicate with ravens it's much like the problem of talking with with um, dolphins you know not the fish like dolphins but the more intelligent dolphins and that the range of their voice is beyond human reproduction but mechanically we could re reproduce it if and if we knew what it meant what each phrase meant, we could communicate with the dolphins that way, uh, using technology. In addition, there's a trouble with the dolphins that they speak two different kinds of languages, the clicks and the, the sounds more like vocalizations. And uh, a person would need two machines, one with clicks and one with vocalizations, to find out what is going on. You know, the, the raven is here talking and talking away, and it 
and the songbirds aren't much around right now, I said, the ravens are, are mean birds, aren't they? And, and the songbird says, yes, the ravens are mean birds. And they say that because the ravens eat the babies of the songbirds, you know. And when I said that, the raven got, uh, got a little downcast, like it thought I didn't like it. And I'd like just a minute now to, to repair my relationship with raven. Hang on. Well, I, I was saying, don't be upset. I do love you very much on the telepathic plane. Looks like it went off. Maybe it has news for somebody else because it's going caw, 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 like that. <laughs> so let's see what's next. Oh, yes. I've been having, ever since I moved to this house in the valley, in the Los Angeles area, I've been having the weirdest, uh, like, uh, inclinations or hunches that there's somebody that would steal from me if I left any tools or anything outside here on the porch. And I look at my neighbors, and they seem like normal sorts of people, and my, my gardeners seem like trustworthy people. And just all together, the, I can't figure out why I keep having these, these uh, hunches, these telepathic hunches that something is up with, with theft. Right? Today I went in, um, I just, there was so much input, I just, I had to go get my camcorder. <laughs> and so, I, as I went inside, I heard a voice that sounded much more human on the telepathic plane, but without any vocalization, say, don't leave anything there, we will come and steal it. And I thought, maybe it's a human being, you know, who knows? And so I said tele telepathically, no, you won't. And I thought maybe it was a human child. You know, I couldn't figure it out. So I said, no, you won't. And it, and it said, yes, we will. We will. Yes, we will. And finally I realized it's the pack rats. And not only that, but they talk to each other very enthusiastically together. Apparently they're strongly social animals and um, and they talk to all the other pack rats in their community. It's like um, it's like they had a, a handheld and they're talking to each other chatting away about stuff. This is a, what you hear right now is a California towhee. It's come to to look for bird seed on the the the, the floor of the porch. See, it does that. Cheap. <laughs> it's quite a day. I, I'm hoping that they'll come back and explain about the, um, the way that coyotes sound. And uh, that I, I can remember the gist of it, but not the way of talking. Um, I asked about the coyotes, and they said, oh, they sneak around. And then they said, in a very gravelly kind of telepathic voice, which wasn't the same as the way that they tweet. They, it, the, the telepathic voice indicates their emotion, and then the tweet represents their talking. Uh, they said, I said, what do they say? And they said, we will grab you, something like that. And... Uh, it was something else equally predatory that they said. I'm looking at the tohi, it's quite close here. I have to say, ever since I found that picture of the blue avian race and the one that I put on, well, I made a poor representation of it so that I could put it on my side, but someone else has done a terrific job elsewhere. And, um, Ever since I saw that, that picture, uh, it's like I found a friend, an old friend. It's the strangest thing. 